I am using Teams, Microsoft Teams, as well as the class notebook within Microsoft Teams. But the important thing I'm going to show you here is how to link it back into Canvas. Canvas is the format that we use for our class. So first you're going to create a team. So right here I'll hit create team. I'm creating a class. The name of my class. And it creates the team. If you have an elementary aged group, you might want to go through and add each of your students individually. For me, I teach middle school and I have over 100 students. This would take me a very long time. So instead, I'm going to show you how I create uh, an assignment for the students to log in themselves. If I have a few students that can't figure it out, I can come in here later and add students individually. But most students are able to figure this out and it saves me a lot of time. So now we have our team created. I will come here and add channels for each group, but I will do that after my students have added themselves to the class. I can't move them around in different channels until later, but this is a great way to organize your students if you have multiple sections of a class especially in middle and high school. So come over here to class notebook. We're going to create our class notebook. We're going to set up our one notebook. We're going to go with a blank document. I like to think of our class notebook as no different than if I had a binder with different sections divided out. So the sections I choose for my students is first we have a growth tracker. This is where they keep track of their quiz grades, their data, and different things like that, where um, I have conferences with them throughout the year individually, and we create goals, and that's where they'll keep their growth tracker. Then I like to have assignments, notes. I don't usually do quizzes and tests inside of class notebooks, so I don't make those categories for me personally. You can always add sections later, which is a great thing. Uh, then I do it by unit. So our first unit is on the atmosphere and weather. I'll add the rest of our units as we go throughout the year so that it doesn't look like a lot of different uh, sections for the students right away. So as it's creating the notebook, something I want to make sure you understand. You don't want to create your notebook um, just in OneNote. You need to create the notebook here in Teams for the two to link together. Once that you have created this notebook, now you need to find a way for students to join your team. So for them to join your team, if you'll come right next to your class name, hit these three little dots, go to Manage Team, come here to Settings, and go to team code. You're going to generate a code. You're going to copy this code right here. And hit copy. And then you're going to go to your Canvas page, which might be on a different course. I have already created my assignment, but you would create an assignment for joining our team. The biggest thing with this, and I'm going to change this code, um, is to have your assignment where the students is the first thing they do because they can't access your notebook or anything else until they have joined. Uh, within here, all you're going to have them do is click on Teams for Microsoft and what that will look like is it will open op Microsoft Teams and then if they, they won't have any Teams yet, it would come up with this. And this is where the students will enter their code you will not do that. Um, that's what this video you see in the assignment is, is to show students how to do that. Then they will enter in this code here when they go through this. It's very important to have a video that shows them how to do it. So you enter in your code there. And then students will be able to join right away. Um, you won't get a request. You won't have to approve it. They'll be in the team right away. So let's come back to our, all of our teams. We're in our class. 
come back to class notebook. So first thing you need to do is create an assignment where students are able to join the team. Then you may want to create a button that lets them just go into the notebook. So maybe they don't have to go through teams. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to open this up in the browser. Now, once you have students, their names will all appear here and you'll be able to access um, each student's uh, documents and assignments that way. But for now, I don't have any students in. So you'll come here to share. And this is just to share the actual notebook. Change this to people with existing access. This keeps their information private. So what this means is the only people that can look at this notebook and the only people that can are the students that have joined with that code that you had. So you're going to copy your link. And then we're going to come back here to our, oh, where'd it go? Oh, it disappeared. We're going to go back to our Canvas course. Apologize for accidentally X out of that window. So then we have our home page. Um, I've added a Bitmoji looking classroom. These are not links to click on. It's just a picture. Uh, this all is clickable to different parts of our course. Um, this was given out by our county for the format they wanted us to use. But at the bottom of what they gave us, we have uh, an area that we can customize with different links and pictures. So what I did here is I uploaded just the picture of what I wanted. I remember we copied that uh, we copied that link earlier for our OneNote notebook. So you'll click, you'll upload your image, which you can do right here by uploading the image. This is the image I chose for notebook. This is our OneNote notebook, and then you'll come here to link, external links. You'll paste it in, done. Now, whenever students click on this, it will take them right to the notebook. The important part to remember with that link is it's only for students that have already joined through Teams. They have to do that first assignment that you create that shows them how to join in Teams. And then the rest of the year, all they have to do is click here to access their OneNote notebook and click here to join Teams, which is where they can conference with you and have live lessons. I hope that is helpful. Uh, look for more videos to come.